Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 69, Search Additional Entities. One of the features that was lost when Microsoft took over the Portals product was the ability to add any entity to the website search. Thankfully, this capability has been reintroduced as part of the 2020 Wave 1 release. To configure additional entities in the search, follow these steps. First, create a new site setting called search forward slash enable additional entities and set its value to true. Next, add your entity to the search forward slash filter site setting. The format is the label for the entity as you want it to appear in the search, then a colon, and then the logical name of the entity. You'll need to create a view called Portal Search for the entity you want to add to the search. The columns that appear in the view are included in the search index. You'll also need entity permissions set up for the entity being added to the search. Portal users need at least read permissions to see the additional entities in their search results. Next, you'll need a web page where the user is taken when they click on a search result. Add a site marker with the name being the logical name of the entity, followed by an underscore, followed by search result page. You are responsible for what is rendered on this page. Use either an entity form or liquid to display the details of the record. The record ID will be included as a query string parameter. Finally, rebuild the search index by going to underscore services slash about as an administrator and clicking the rebuild search index button. Now when searching, you should see the new entity in the results with the ability to view the details page. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 69 on searching additional entities useful.